Imagine a soldier the size of an insect. The ultimate secret weapon. Uh, so, Corey, the character of Darren Cross, obviously he is sort of the... Uh, uh, I don't know if spurned protege is mm -hmm. the correct way of saying it, but you know clearly he has a lot of animosity <laughs> towards Hank. What is it that Darren feels Hank was keeping from him? I mean, obviously the technology, but is he also sort of looking for some type of approval or some type yeah. of acceptance? From yeah, Hank? I, I mean that that is the the core motivation of everything that uh, that Darren does in the movie. Uh, I mean, obviously, he has this this love of science, and there is something very utopian about this technology. You know, mm -hmm. the, the, you think about all the applications, especially not just shrinking yourself, but being able to shrink other things. Um, you, it would, would really change the the world, and you know, a lot of applications for the better. Um, so there's that, and then there's the fame and the money and the power. Um, but in the end, it is really, you know, it's just about trying to get that that love and that affection and that approval. Mm -hmm. And so much of this movie is actually about, you know, these parents reconnecting with their child and vice versa. Yeah. Why is it that keeps Darren and Hank from really having the opportunity to reconnect? Because uh, Darren is psychotic. <laughs> 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 Absolutely put. <laughs> you tried to hide your suit from me. Now, it's gonna blow up in your face and destroy everyone you care about. Paul wore a very practical, almost full suit a lot yeah. of the time, whereas you didn't have much of the suit to work with. You were sort of doing the motion capture, Mark Ruffalo, Hulk mm -hmm. pajamas. Uh, were you ever sort of jealous of uh, Paul's Ant-Man suit or were at the same time where you're like, eh, this takes me far less time to get into and I can actually move in it? There are definitely pros and cons. It was, you know, I mean, that, that his suit was great and, you know, when he was on set, like, he, he was, he was Ant-Man, you know, and, and uh, uh, so that's, that's really helpful and you don't feel quite as ridiculous. The other thing was it was... Um, August in Atlanta <laughs> and wearing a full leather suit is not the most comfortable thing to be wearing. <laughs>